Welcome to Math 151. My name is Chuck Devangie. I'm your instructor for uh, for this course. And for uh, for this calc course, we are going to use uh, WAMAP as our course shell, and we use it. It's it's very robust to use uh, for math. It's it's a lot once you once you understand kind of its features, it's a lot better to use for a math class, I think, than um, than like Canvas. So um, here is your view that you would be when you. Well, you've probably already seen this. You've already found this video at least. But this is kind of the main page. This is the student view. And notice we can see out two weeks. That'll be typical. I, I'll re release a week uh, on the Wednesday two weeks before that week actually happens. So if you look at, I'm looking at student view right now. If you look at instructor view, um, you can see that I have the course the course laid out. And I, I do that um, to help you think about due dates as absolute last minute instead of when you should start working on it. Um, I know that's a shift for a lot of students, but it's a, it's a good healthy one, particularly when you have a good sense of what's on the horizon. Um, and it will help in this course a lot because the longer you get to kind of stew on the material and think about it, the better you're going to understand it. I really believe that. So here's some sections. Announcements. Uh, you've probably already looked at this. Uh, I'll post in here at least weekly. Just giving you a sense of what the week's going to be like, things we'll talk about, or maybe uh, common mistakes I've been seeing uh, in work, that sort of thing. Um, so if I look at week one, we're in week one right now. I'm, <clears throat> you've already been here because you're watching this video right now, the course intro video. Um, list of things I want you to get done. Weeks are always laid out like this. So um, there may or may not be some notes here. There will be... The sections out of the book we're going to talk about, and for each of these sections, there's a lecture, uh, me talking at you like this, and then there's some exercises out of the book that I think are good practice. And so this week, you can see we do uh, two one and two two, and then there's a section that's quizzes and forums. That's where the the forums and the quizzes for the week uh, will be that you that you uh, will need to get done. So let's shift back a little bit into resources resources in here. Uh, there's a form. You can always ask questions here. So like, I didn't know how to do number 17. I'll answer them. People in the class will answer them as well. Uh, it's just a good kind of general questions place. And you can always message me there. You can get to that through the forums over here as well. The textbook that we're using is an open source textbook, so you shouldn't have to buy it unless you want a printed version. Um, here's there's uh, I have it downloaded here, and here's a link to it as well. We also have our syllabus and our course calendar here. I'm going to open up the syllabus and talk about it a little bit. So here is, uh, you know, typical stuff that's in a syllabus. <laughs> a couple things I want to point out. Uh, we have these assessments, uh, April 27th, May 25th, and the finals on June 15th. So these are exams and the final. So two exams and a final. Uh, there's a calendar. I'll talk about the calendar a little bit. This is not a self-paced course. There are due dates for things. Um, so, so you know. Um, one thing I do want to point out, uh, this class ends at the final. That's when the class is over. And any work, including if you're going to use late passes, have to be submitted by 11.59 the day before the final exam. I, I won't accept late work after that. Um, you do get late passes for work. Um, you can't use them on forms, but you can use them on, on quizzes. Can't use them on exams and finals. This is a lot of grace. And if you find you're really falling behind, contact me and let's let's talk. But uh, contact me early instead of instead of later. Oh, by the way, if, if you send me an email um, asking like why you can't turn stuff in after the deadline or that you're surprised by it, um, I, I will remind you of this in the syllabus. Just that'll that'll be my response, just so you know. So we have different categories. This is how the weights fall out for grades. The homework, the practice set that I give, it's not graded. It's not part of the assessment. Um, it's very good to do that that practice and get it down and feel feel good about it. You know, think about why you're taking the course. Um, hopefully, hopefully to learn the material. Exams in the final combine to 65% of the grade. Uh, they're online assessments, so there'll be tests that you take online, and I give you two and a half hours to complete it. It's uh, it, they're timed, and that two two and a half hours are consecutive. So once you hit start on the test, you have two and a half hours to complete it, even if you like log out or you can't pause that time. And they have to be done sometime between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. on that day. 
10 p.m. is a hard deadline, so if you start the test at 9.30 p.m., you're only going to have a half hour to work on it. I strongly recommend you submit your scratch work. After completing each of the exams, you can message it to me in WAMAP. Um, some, some questions will insist that you show work and you won't get credit if you don't submit that work. So you can just take a picture of the work and submit it. Uh, practice quizzes and forums. This is 15% of the grade. So practice quizzes, they're, they're not timed. They're really good practice and you get four tries on each question. Um, and you can work on practice quiz like over a big long period of time. And practice quizzes have to be done by 11.59 on the due date. And you can use a, a late pass if, if, you, if you miss one or something like that. Um, also forums, there'll be a forum question that's a prompt. Please answer the prompt um, in the forum by the date. And then I ask you also to reply to at least one other student's um, post in the forum. Uh, forms do count for points in this category and also um, you cannot use late passes on forms. So you have these practice quizzes, you take them and then at the end of the week you're going to take a timed quiz. It's a two hour long quiz and the practice quiz, believe me when I say this, is really good preparation for the timed quiz. Um, so you do the practice quizzes, you're feeling good on the material, you can do the time quiz then. You have two hours to get it done. Um, on time quizzes, you get three attempts on each question. Um, and again, click as soon as you start them. Consecutive time have to be done by 11.59 p.m. on the due date. A couple things on quizzes. Uh, just default yourself to round into three decimal places unless it says underwise. otherwise. That's just good, good practice. Um, and you'll see a grade often with your quiz. There's an auto grader that I don't entirely trust. It's pretty good, but I go through everyone's quiz after they're done as well and make sure that you're getting points that you earned. So if you're like almost certain that your answer is right, um, it could be that your answer is right and the auto grader isn't recognizing it for some reason. That, that happens. I will give you the points on that. Just feel free to message me or if you just want to wait a day or two, give me a chance to take a peek at it and then message me if I haven't addressed it. But I don't mind you messing me, messaging me uh, right away about that. Uh, you know how to get onto Walmart. Okay, so there is our syllabus. Now the calendar, I really strongly suggest you print this out because this is the course. The course is laid out. So April 6th, first day, course intro. Hopefully right now you're watching this video. That's one of your day one tasks. So the way that I have this laid out, the 2.1, the 2.2, just things that are regular text, those are sections out of the book. There'll be a lecture and uh, some practice work out of that as well. So you can see like 6.3, video lecture and exercises on 6.3. Things that are italicized are due. So the week one forum that you might as well do first day, but you could put it off till Wednesday is due Wednesday at midnight. And then the practice, the, the practice quiz zero, kind of our intro quiz is due Friday and your response is due Friday. Again, treat these due dates as the latest possible time to do it. You can always do them early. Um, I've tried to structure it. Actually, I think I succeeded in structuring it so that uh, your forum and your practice quiz for the week um, are due by Wednesday, and then your forum response and your time quiz for the week are due on Friday. I just tried to keep that really regular for you. And then you can see I have these exams that happen on Tuesdays, exam one, exam two, exam three. So this 2.3, 2.5, 2.4, these are the sections. This is the latest I suggest you watch this uh, video read that part of the book and try the um, the practice problems from it. Really print this out, put it where you'll see it all the time. You will not miss any due dates. You won't have to use any late passes. Life will be grand. Uh, messages. If you want to message me, messaging me through WAMAP is the best, most efficient way to do it. So. You can uh, decide to send a new message. There'll be a list in here. Uh, you can see I have my little dummy account of myself. So I'm going to send myself a mail. Hey, need help. And here's what I like about this. I can, I can say, um, I noticed, I don't know why I'm writing here, blah, blah, blah. Um, what I like about this is I can insert some math in here. See how it says add new math, math symbols. If I, if I choose this add new math, uh, this this comes up and watch if I write like 
that 5 plus x, the quantity squared, divided by y to the third. If I kind of arrow out of there, it actually displays it like it, it um, formats it so it's actually in math text. This is a great way we can have a math conversation back and forth. One of the reasons why I really enjoy uh, this program. You can get it from clicking at that, and actually this uh, this symbol, this little tick mark is, uh, at least on my keyboard, like just to the left of one. You can you can just hit it and just start typing inside it, and it'll, it'll math it up for you. So do that. Uh, I'm going to send this message to this kid, see what he says. And also forms, you can get to the forms uh, through here as well. Um, there are, so forms, two places, in inside the week, in quizzes and forums, or from forum. And if you were really ambitious, you get week one done, you start looking at week two, and you can see there's, uh, looks like there's three lectures week two, and there's some quizzes and forums to get taken care of as well. All right. Hey, welcome to class. I'm, I'm looking forward to, to working with y'all. Really, my job is to help you understand the content. Um, so message me with questions. Let me know if we need to, to meet and talk. We can organize uh, small group meetings via Zoom or something like that. Um, and don't hesitate ever to ask me questions. All right, I'm looking forward to a good quarter.